hello and welcome to this video. Today I thought we'd look at the Odeon My Limitless Pass card thing. So as you know, me and Pete have moved to Sheffield and currently where we live we are in within walking distance. Hello Jeff. You joining me too? You can't go to the cinema though, bud. So we're within walking distance of an Odeon cinema. So we thought why not treat ourselves to the Odeon My Limitless thing, which is a monthly subscription, but then you can go to the cinema as many times as you like for free. So it costs fourteen ninety nine for the month, um, each month, and with the cinema that we have, because it's a luxe, which means it's one of those recliner ones, so you sit and you have your recliner chair, the tickets largely cost somewhere between £12 and £14. So for us to make use of it and to make the most of it, we only have to attend the cinema twice a month. Here is what we got up to within the first month of having these cards. Right, I'm off to see my first film this afternoon. I booked my Odeon Limitless Pass yesterday, so you can book tickets as soon as you've ordered it, which is nice to know. I'm just looking at the price to see, you know, if I've made my money back at all. Um, and the ticket for the film I'm going to see at the time I'm going to see it is currently £14 for an adult recliner because I'm going to a luxe cinema, so I think that's fancy. And I'm going to see Elvis, which is the Baz Luhrmann film about Elvis Presley because I'm currently off work and Pete is working so it's a film that he doesn't mind me seeing on my own. Um, I was going to go and see Lightyear but he got upset when I suggested that. So Elvis, as I said, is a film about Elvis Presley and it says here that it's looking at the complicated relationship with his enigmatic manager Colonel Tom Parker. So it's a Tom Hanks, Austin Butler, should be good fun. So I've now got to work out how to actually get to the cinema and then we're going to go. And I will share with you my thoughts on it afterwards. So first film with the Odeon Pass completed. And I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you know this about me, but I really enjoy Rock and roll music, music of Elvis's era, you know, Buddy Holly, all of that kind of stuff. So I thought I knew a fair amount about Elvis, but that was an entirely new story to me and really interesting. And I'm glad I took some time this afternoon to go and see it. Plus, the cinema is super comfortable. I very much like a recliner. So it's nice that that is my local and I can now go as many times as I like for essentially free. Because if I see two films a month, that pays for my pass. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, so now I'm going to convince Pete, who also has a pass by the way, because we ordered them together, to book another one for this weekend. Maybe Thor. It's now Sunday the 31st of July and Pete is going for his first cinema trip today with me, I'm going with him. So that's two trips on the new card. Pete also has a limitless, limit, limit. My limitless. Thank you. I think. So he's going for his first. And we're off to see Thor, Love and Thunder. Yep. So I've been bigging up the uh, recliner seats to Pete all week. So I'm looking forward to them. Let's see how he feels about it. But that is one week owning the card, two films down. Jeff on the sofa with us, chilling. Yeah, Jeff's back. Jeff. <laughs> right, time to go to the cinema. So it's now Saturday the 6th of August. Um, we really enjoyed Thor last week, although I don't think it's the best Thor, but it still made me laugh and had a lot of um, the rock man, whose name I never remember, but I really like his character. 
The cinema experience probably was less good than the one when I went to see Elvis, but that's probably just because there was more people, so there's more chance of rustling and, you know, talking and all of that kind of stuff, which you have to kind of expect in a cinema. Whereas in Elvis there was about six of us, so there wasn't a lot of noise, so you, I really could just get lost in the film, whereas there were some people on the phones and stuff in the one in Thor, so it was a bit more distracting. But still very much enjoying the recliners as is peak. It's obviously about almost a week after we went to see the film and he's not actually here this weekend so he can't tell you what he thought of the cinema experience. I'll make sure I get that somewhere. I'm sure we'll go again within the month. But as I said, he's not here so I had intended on going to the cinema today, this afternoon. But unfortunately, when I went to look at the films, there wasn't actually anything that I really wanted to see at a time that I could go and see it. So I thought I would show you the app so this is the Odeon app. When you first get in, you select your cinema and things like that. And then you select the date that you want to go. So obviously I wanted to go today on the 6th. And then you can scroll through to see what films are available. Now, I would have gone to see DC League of Super Pets, but or Bullet Train, because they both have a film at, you know, about four-ish, which would have been good. Um, but Pete kind of wants to see both of those, so he wouldn't allow me to go. We've obviously been to see Thor. I'm not interested in the Minions film. I did want to go and see where the cool dads sing. That was probably the one I would have selected. Sorry about the red light. It's from my camera as it's recording. Um, but nine o'clock on a Saturday is just too late for me to go to the cinema when I'm on my own. Um, I obviously have Jeff to walk and things like that. And quite frankly, we're still quite new to Sheffield and I'm not as confident about walking back in the dark by myself and stuff at the moment. So that's too late for me to go, which is a shame because it's the one I would have gone to see. Um, Maverick, I've never seen the first Top Gun, so that seems pointless. I obviously went to see Elvis and then these ones are too late and films I wouldn't go and see anyway. So that is a shame because it is a day that I had intended on going and actually I'm out for a lot of weekends now for the rest of August so I'm not sure when my next opportunity to go will be. But that being said I have been twice since getting the Limitless card. The 14 99 that I spent a month for the card has now been made up because each film costs about £13 anyway so the minimum to go in a month is twice so at least I've done that. Um, but hopefully we'll go again soon. It's been a slightly frustrating day, so Pete and I are off to the cinema. I mean, we planned it before it was a frustrating day. It was, but the day has turned out to be quite frustrating. So now we can go chill. So watch now film. I'm going to... Uh, we weren't going to have sweets, but now we are. By sweets, I mean chocolate. I so we... some, uh, some like M&M peanut butter ones. Or, yeah, something like that, or crispy ones. Or, I mean, you I can know. have the crispy ones, I'll allow that. The peanut ones are good, though. So we're going to go and see Bullet Train, which just looks like a silly film, really, about assassins. So that's where we're off to today. Uh, that's the third film of the month for me. So we're back from Bullet Train. I may look a bit bedraggled and a bit wet because it's absolutely chucking it down. So we got pretty wet on our way to and from the cinema. But I was clever and put on trainers whereas Pete wore flip-flops. Because he's a number two. That film is probably my least favourite of the three I've seen. It wasn't quite as funny as I was hoping. And if, like me, you have a snake phobia, there is a pointless plotline with a snake, so that appears quite a lot which is not ideal when you're scared of them. So yeah, probably my least favorite, but still fun to go and see. And one that we would never have gone to see if we didn't have this Limitless card. Um, so that's part of the fun of it is to see films that half intrigue you, but like I always say, oh, I like the look of that, but I wouldn't pay to go and see it at the cinema. And I know technically I have gone to pay, but I haven't because I've already made my money back on it. What did you think to uh, <laughs> train? Sorry, it's the way that Jeff just appeared, can you? Uh, I thought it was fun. It was good. It was, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We got a bit sleepy in the middle or something like that point, but it was, it was good. And after Thor, I didn't talk to you, so what do you think of the cinema? Well, the cinema in general? Yeah. Yeah, I really like the uh, reclining the seats, because they're comfy. It's, uh, it's worth it, for sure. Except when you lose your keys down. Yeah, well, I've learned that lesson without doing it the hard way, because I've heard my keys go. But yeah, it's good, it's good, good. So there you go. As you can see, we made relative use of it. We managed to go a few times, despite August being quite a busy month for different work, travelling for Pete. Um, I went off to my family quite often, had a hen do, had all sorts of things going on which prevented us from going to the cinema. So with that in mind, I think we did all right. The ease of going to our cinema, the comfort of our cinema and all of that is great and this certainly will encourage me and Pete to go and see things that we perhaps wouldn't have seen. For example, Bullet Train. The issue that I'm finding with it though is that, and this is probably just for the specific cinema that we go to, is the timings of the shows are not ideal. So obviously we both work full time, so we don't finish till five, gone five, depending on the day. So we can't, if we're going to walk Jeff and eat food and all of that, really get to the cinema much before half six. A real push, seven is ideal. But our cinema seems to just have screenings at somewhere between like half four and half five, and then from like eight onwards. That bit between half five and eight doesn't seem to have any showings or many showings. I don't know whether that's just the current season we're in, whether that's a thing anyway, but it appears to have enough screens to have showings at those kind of times and I don't know why it's not. Um, and obviously you saw in the video there was a Saturday that I wanted to go in the afternoon but again none of the films I personally wanted to see had any times that I could go at. So that's one issue that I'm finding with having the card, is that I'm not always available to be able to go at the times I want. The other thing is there are some charges to it, which we knew going into it, but I hadn't really thought about. So there are certain things that we have to pay for if we wanted to go to it. So any of the National Theatre screenings um, we would pay for. Uh, there was a documentary that George Ezra did that I wanted to see. It was advertised at the gig we went. I'll link that video up in the iCard if you want to see it. Um, but that also was a charge and quite a lot of money too. It was like 20 quid. So that's why we didn't end up going to that one. But if it's your standard cinema screenings, it's all covered in the price. And as I say, the cinema is very comfortable and much better than some of the others. It's just a shame that you sometimes have to share with some noisy people. I do think having the card, certainly while we're within walking distance of the cinema, is a benefit and something that I'm glad that we're doing. As I'm filming this, Pete's actually away, so my plan is to go tomorrow evening to see something. Um, so things like that means that I can still get out and about, even when he's not here, means that we can share some experiences and do that. If there's nothing that we want to watch on TV, we can just pop to a film. So all of those things are definite benefits. But if we were further out, certainly because I can't drive, I don't think I'd keep my, my monthly subscription just because I don't think I'd make use of it enough. In terms of the actual films that we watched, or I watched, because obviously I saw some that Pete didn't, the best one was Elvis, which I saw at the beginning of the month, and then they went downhill. So I really enjoyed Elvis. Um, it was a week day afternoon because I was off work so it was a lovely experience there was very few people in the cinema because it's quite an old film out anyway although they're still showing it and we're like a good five weeks on from me seeing it and it's been out for I don't know how long but they're still showing it that's what I mean by there's films that have come out that we don't seem to get and we would anyway I've gone through that run so I really enjoyed that one Thor was enjoyable enough it made me laugh at points it just wasn't quite as good as some of the others and as you saw bullet train was my least favorite it was very uh just had a lot of oddness to it um it did have some fun cameos but for me there was a pointless snake and i'm scared of snakes so that's what was my least favorite 
but as I say, glad that we're doing it, looking forward to seeing some more films over the next few months while we're still in this flat, and if you have any questions about my experience with the Limitless card, just put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you when I can. But yeah, fun. And I reignited my interest in cinemas, so that can only be a good thing for uh, businesses, even if it's not a good thing for my bank account. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here, so if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!